Uh, listen, we'll talk about um, West Ham a bit later on. Well done to Brighton, they're flying high, but obviously flying. this hour is going to be about Liverpool. Just ever so quickly before we go to the phone lines. So, just before the break, I said to you, I will name five better outside rights. Yeah. But what I meant was left or right, outside outside strikers, so my, left my, or right. My point is you can't, you can't find me five players that play outside right that better than Or, or left, outside right or well, left. No, just okay, so position. I've gone for Ronaldo when he was at Man United. I can't give you that. Right. Okay, you'll say Ronaldo's better? I'll give you that, okay. yeah. Okay, I'd say Henri, when he came to Arsenal, was an outside left. No, but he, he, no, but he, no, but he, was, okay. he played at Juve as an outside left. So I've got, the, let me, no, let me no, say no, my list. Premier League. Let me say my list. I'll give me the three. So I've gone for Ronaldo, Henri. Yep. I've gone for Gareth Bale when he was in his pomp. Okay, yep. Would you give me that? No, I'm not, I'm not taking okay. Salah. Okay. I've gone for Giggs when he was at, obviously at United, the only place he's been. And uh, either Hazard or Bex. My point is, So there's right, five. There's six, actually. Six. Henri, when he came to Arsenal, was left with left side. I said, it, it, I'm going to give you five okay. outside left or right. Okay, but what my point is, you can't give... Um, you can't find me five players that play in Salah's position, it's which is not wide left. It's a new left. position. It, no, it's not a new position. It, it, Salah is. on the right of a three is arguably the best in Premier League history. Well, he's not better than Ronaldo. Okay, but that's one. Well, so he's not. Okay, but you're talking about one of the greatest players ever. Yeah. I know, so he's not. And I said one of. I know, but when you said Salah is... Okay, if I picked a Premier League eleven, Listen, Sa- Salah... Salah's, I'm, not, I'm, I'm having an argument for the wrong reason. Salah's unbelievable. No, but you don't think but that. I just, you think he's... What's the, I know, yeah. No, no, no. I just, I'm just saying, Salah, in my opinion, isn't the greatest ever outside right we've seen in the Premier League. Ronaldo okay, he's is. better than Beckham. In different positions, though. Beckham plays as a no. four. So my front three but would be Henri, Ronaldo and Salah. Where are you playing Ronaldo? On the left. Mm, he didn't play there. Uh, let's go to the phone line, shall we? Let's speak to Liverpool fans. I might... I might go to the toilet now. Oh three seven one seven double two double three to four. Nathan's a Liverpool fan. Hi, Nathan. Good afternoon. Nathan, you sound so happy. And do you know what? I love it. <laughs> Honestly, I sound happier than Andy anyway. <laughs> There's a reason for that. There's seven reasons, oh, yeah. Nathan. Pardon? The only downside to beating you is I don't work with any Man U fans. Uh, Man United fans, downside. Man United fans, Nathan. Yeah, Man United fans, sorry. Yeah. I don't, oh, I don't let, work okay, with any, let, so. let, let me ask you a question, a serious question, Nathan. Um, I mean, yeah. listen, there was only one team in it, right? And I could go on for days talking about how wonderful you were in the second half and how awful we Stop were. Stop saying second but, half. Well, first half was close. Well, we're winning 1-0. Yeah, I agree. I, yeah, but no, I agree. First half, you were in game. Yeah, were, and, and, and also, game there were six goals in the second half, so that suggests the second half Liverpool were ridiculous, Shout right? Shout out to Tower. Right, but here's my question, Nathan. Here's my question, right? <laughs> Is that where has this performance been all season? Because over the last, what, five, six years, Liverpool have been more than a force in the Premier League. They've been outstanding. But as I mentioned to Bentley earlier on, the front three you had yesterday, you know, they played when you lost 3-0 to Wolves. Where yeah. where has that been? Um, is that frustrating from your perspective or not? Oh, obviously, it is. Of course it is. Um, you can't go from losing to, the, say, like, like you say, Wolves, Brighton, 3-0, to then go and beat Hughes, like, 7-0. It's like, where has that been? Like, midfield's been overrun all year. Like, there's been no energy in midfield. And then to turn up like that and then beat Man United 7-0... Where has it been? Where's it? Salah were great, weren't he? Honestly, he's fantastic. And John Nathan, <laughs> this, and I get it, you've had some bad results, but this yes, might just spring was. spring your season forward. Why? Because... You're based on 45 <clears throat> minutes. Listen, Andy, regardless of how you, however you want to spring, 7-0. Spring... So, hold on, hold on. A, okay, so it's, after it's 25 games, this might springboard their yeah. season. Oh, well done. Late to the party, but well done. 7-0. Uh, so, hold on. So just, just to confirm what you're saying, after 25 games and a great 45 minutes, that's the springboard. Great ninety minutes, and this might this might be the catalyst great, for the lot. Why lo- are you saying great ninety? The, the final stretch of the season. Yeah, this might just give them that. Of course, it might. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, might lose. Ever, I think they got Bournemouth for the week. Is it Bournemouth live yeah. on Talksport? Yeah, yeah, they, might, they can dine out on this seven yeah. for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't a great ninety, by the way. It was a great forty-five. It wasn't just forty-five because I thought Liverpool were okay first half. Yeah, so um, were Man United. But who, what was the score at half time? One 0 So they were better than you then. Yeah, I didn't say they weren't. So I said it wasn't great. Second half was though. Second half was. Scott's a Liverpool fan. Hi, hi, Scott. Good afternoon, Mr. Goldstein. How are we again? Are you OK? You're much too calm for my liking. I like angry no. Liverpool fans. I don't. I just love how you keep tying yourself in knots. <laughs> I have to. It's my job, Scott. I'm de- I'm, I'm up against the wall. I've got nowhere to go. Listen, here's a funny stuff for you. I know what you've been here this afternoon. Since Salah's been at Liverpool, he's had more yellow cards for celebrating goals against Man United than what you have scored in Anfield. <laughs> what the that is? It's shame he hasn't scored more goals this season because you'd be higher up. That you'd be in the top four, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, listen, you're you're a brave man, by the way. And listen, credit where credit's due. You've won the cup last week, and yeah, great. Put all back down to it. You're going on about Liverpool. Listen, we know we've been inconsistent, but we also know we can put a run together. Like we never mind. Listen, you've got to get into four. Don't get me wrong, but you're not too far ahead of us now, mate. 
Uh, seven points. Oh, is that all it is? Exactly. That's what I was saying. It's only seven points. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, Do you think you'll finish I above United, I Scott? I don't know we but I would be worried as a Man U fan, mate, in relation to a hostile atmosphere. They collapsed yesterday. Yeah, but, it, it, but hold on, hold on. But it's oh, it, we collapsed in 45 minutes in one game. Oh, Andy, Andy well, listen, you can see some of the quality you've got. Look, I don't like Man United, but you've got to see Rashford for the quality he brings. Yeah. So you've got to put a bit of perspective into stuff. Andy, your top players folded like a pack of cards. Yeah, I agree with you. But when I had man, they are absolutely your captain. We're laughing at him in the end. And we, you can see he's got quality. And I know he's been, you know, loads of people have given chip and stuff today. But and I promise you now, and it's great when the goal's good, but you're seeing a lot of your players for what they were yesterday. I was at Old Trafford last I year. Think that's a bit, I think that's a bit harsh, Scott. Second half, I don't, you know, he's correct. Scott's yeah, right. No, but what I'm saying is, I don't think you can base... A, a, um, a statement like that on 45 minutes of football because I've watched 25 games this season. Yeah, of course you can. Seven. Andy, look what you've done at Brentford. Look what you've done at. No, but that was that was that was like early on in his tenure. You were saying before about. But look at Barcelona, Scott. Why, why don't we talk about Barcelona, Man United? No, well, that's fine. But you were way first leg and you've done well. Second leg, so you've got to give you a bit of credit in relation to that. But what I'm saying is, this is this is the biggest game in this country. This is the biggest game, and all right, you beat us 2 1 early in the season, and we were poor. But let's get, you know, and I know that this, even when we, Andy, so long ago, 10, 15 years ago, we were rubbish. You, you know, but when we come to play in Man United, you'd never give us a tonking. We'd win some games at your old place. We'd go into games and we'd be like, there's not a chance in the world mm. to beat you. Mm. But, Andy, you're honest to God, you look at it and you, you've spoken before about the same from three play against Bulls. You've got, this is what sometimes does me with some of our fans. People are jumping too quick. Mm. It's that pose about third game for Liverpool. And everyone's expecting them to run a miracles. And what he says is get them on the training pitch. Mm. Start playing together, understanding each other. And now you're seeing some of the stuff. What he was doing, how confident, how, how clean yeah. the player is. Well, listen, <laughs> you know, Scott, listen, um, thank you for your call. And good luck trying to get into the top four this season. Good luck do you know what I will say quickly, before you know you've got to go to no Googling, just a quick one, is that, th and this is where the levels come in. Like Rashford is having, what would you say, the form of his life. Yeah. And he's on 25 goals total. Yeah. Yeah. And what would you say about the start of the season? Right, go on. No, what, what would you well, say? About... This is a loaded question. No, what on. would you say about his season? Amazing. No, you wouldn't say that. Go he says average. He's on twenty-two. So who's who's got more goals? Okay, but but Salah. Well, sorry, what's the, the answer? No, but this is the levels. Yeah. Salah twenty-two. We're going. Oh, he's not had a good season. No, Liverpool. But where's your season. Rashford's got twenty-five, and you're saying that he's the best player in Europe? No, I didn't say that. You did. Look at you. Yeah, you did. Sorry, are you are you Arsenal or Liverpool? I'm Salah. I can't believe I've you won. Been a, well always been a Salah. I can't believe you won at the weekend. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.